Hello everyone, Cam Bear Run here, and welcome to Deadliest Warrior the Game. For those of you that don't know, Deadliest Warrior was a TV show that showed in, well I don't know what channel on American television, but it was Bravo over here in the UK, until Bravo unfortunately closed down. It was essentially the concept of who would win in a fight turned into a game show, turned into a game, TV show turned into a game. They would pit ancient warriors, or modern warriors, this is, the game is only the ancient, uh, They'll pit ancient or modern warriors up against each other in death battles. Uh, if you wonder why I'm flicking between the single player and the multiplayer, I have to stop the autoplay from going in. I can't actually show you the multiplayer because I think I'm the only person on the planet that downloaded this game. I have not found a single other person to multiplayer. But I can do single player and I'm going to show you the battle mode, which is just a simple versus. You get quite a collection of fighters. The one you saw in the front was the samurai. You have an Apache, Centurion, a Knight, uh, sorry if some of these characters are a bit slow, the Ninja, the Pirate, who is probably the funniest character in the game and my favourite, I'm not going to show him first, the Samurai, the Spartan, who's basically a walking tank, uh, you get the Viking, who'll probably end up playing as first, uh, the Shaolin Monk, the Rajput and the Zande, the uh, African Warrior. The last three are downloadable characters. I'm going to choose a Viking first. You get to change weapons as you go along, because when you play the arcade, you can unlock more weapons that allow you to customise, but unfortunately I haven't unlocked uh, completed the game with the Viking yet. I think we will have him up against the Roman Centurion. Again, another character that I haven't completed the game as. First level I'll show you is the Castle Courtyard. I'm going to do four fights so I get to show you all four levels. I have not unlocked the Fight Lab yet, unfortunately. I guess it just leaves the question of how Viking would meet Centurion. I guess the Viking would just find him roaming around. I'm sorry, I'm terrible. Um, <laughs> the fight mechanic in this is quite unique because it's a fighting game with a twist. Because they use real weapons, real term damage can be applied. You can decapitate people. You can cut off arms and legs. You can speed up the fight to make them bleed out from certain damage. Certainly one of the characters, the Apache, has a, uh, a poisoned arrow that can slow their uh, damage over time. Very, very nasty. Uh, apologies about the loading screens. Uh, I figured I'd just talk to you about certain elements of the game. You also you get a projectile, a mid-range weapon which can hold people a bit in short range. So basically a sword, a spear, and a... Here is the Viking, big bugger. And here's the Centurion. One of the more stalwart characters in the game. A bit annoying because of the shield. Yeah, I just... Like, <laughs> Ow. Yeah, it took me a while to win that one. You get a high, low, mid-range attack and all of that. Just get a special attack through RB, it's often a knockback. There, you see, I've damaged his arms, so now he can't use his shield. Ow. Oh, and there goes his leg and his arm. Ooh! Multiple decapitation. Or amputation, even. Cut off more than one head. He's a gorgon. Sorry, that's terrible. Anyway, the warrior, the Viking just walks away, he ain't got time for your shit. So yeah, that was the first of the characters. The Viking is what's known as a berserker character. Very tough, very strong. You get three kinds of characters in the game, I'll show you the next one. And kill two buzzers while I'm showing you a DLC character. Uh, the Shaolin Monkey is a gorilla warrior, which means he has no armor, but high speed levels. That I haven't unlocked. And I think we'll put him against the tank of the game, the uh, Spartan Warrior. For the sake of it, I'm taking all the uh, light weapons because otherwise he will very highly chance he will destroy me. Recap the the uh, spot and some turf. Probably these two are the best characters in the game. Uh, light and fast and aggressive versus just basically immovable. There is a little uh, achievement in <laughs> Deadliest Warrior which they poked fun at uh, 300 the movie because it's called That Was Sparta. And it's when you kill 300 Spartans in a single 
uh, versus mode. Not obviously at the same time, but in total, you kill three hundred Spartans in versus mode. Obviously, uh, that was Spartan. Get it? Yeah, I didn't think it was good. Anyway, the Spartan is an absolute tank because you can't get past that stupid shield. Watch. Ow. Uh, or maybe you can. Again, you have the long range, the short range, and you also have the mid range. Got ya. Yeah, it's Shadow Monk is probably the easiest character to win as because he's quite he's quite a cheap character because he does not so much a lot of damage, but he does damage very, very fast. Especially the speed at which he can throw the um the little throwing knives that he has. Does damage very fast and he can essentially you can win a game before it begins. There it is possible to kill people with throwing weapons beforehand. Yeah, oh, sorry, I uh, skipped a bit ahead of myself. This is the Rajput warrior, Indian warrior from the fifteenth century. I think he's the Kandar because it's stronger. Yeah, this is one of the characters I've completed the game with, and you can change the weapons that you load out with. You should put them up against the Samurai. Again, another character. I didn't manage to get the... Uh, or at least I didn't pass the challenge, I kind of failed it. Black. Rodden. Plus third level bamboo sign. The only thing is, kind of like I, I think I, like I said, I might be the only person on the planet who's got this game. I've never found a single person online. I don't know whether anyone else does actually own a copy of the game. I would like to think they do, but sometimes I kind of feel that I'm a bit alone in this. I know a lot of the reviews criticise the fighting style because obviously you can be winning and then they can take off your head in one shot. And it can sometimes make this game incredibly difficult. The arcade, the arcade can be a pain. Believe me. Here we rush, but was a samurai. Here we go. Admittedly, I win most of these games quite cheaply. <laughs> Still love to take off somebody's head in a minute. Merely a uh, long range spam on this. There we go. Stab to the. F He's actually a pretty decent warrior. One of the better additions. Not the Shallow Monk one. Yeah, I'll show you one more fight after this, and then... Because that will let me show all the... Because I just want to show off my favourite character of all time, the pirate. Not only because he's actually a pretty powerful, powerful fighter in terms of the fact that he's one of the few that uses modern weapons, but also the fact that he's probably the funniest as well. Just simply in the things that he says when he wins, and the things that he says when he op opens an end... talking about. But I'm going to put him up against the ninja because, you know, that was once the biggest thing on the internet. Ninjas versus pirates. Yay, I'm old. Jesus, I still remember. Anyway. Um, I'm still yet to do two things in this and hopefully I might achieve them. But you can decapitate your opponents and kill them in one hit or you can kill them in one shot from a projectile which is you hit them in the head. Occasionally you take off the head. Admittedly, I might do more of these. Uh, to show off more characters if requested. Unguard, you scurvy dog. Prepare for the awesome that is the pirate. He had butts. Stabbed 
jab. <laughs> Such insolence. Right, round two. I hate how fast right. Still didn't take off any limbs. Just watch this. You've won your battle and you just sit down and you get pissed. Isn't that what life is all about? Oh, and he also farts. Isn't that lovely? And that's why the pirate is the greatest character of all time. He's an absolute riot. Of course, he's also very lewd. Uh, I heard that they were making more DLC character for this, but I don't think it would do. Personally, I'd like to see the self from season uh, Potion of Mortal from Season 2. They faced each other. Um... Or win? They never got to uh, be in this game. Anyway, that was Deadly Swarry the game. A true hack and slasher. If you enjoyed this video, and if you actually think this game is interesting, and feel free to leave a like. By all means, go and download this game off the Xbox Live Marketplace. It's on the arcade. I think it's still about 1,200 Microsoft points. It was when I got it this was back in 2010. It might still be Microsoft 1,200, but I would suspect now it's a lot cheaper. Because they're just trying to get rid of it by any chance. But yeah, if you... Oh, Christ, here we go into the auto... Alright, well, the autoplay is talking. Or loading. If you enjoyed this game, feel free to leave a like. Or if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like. And if you want to see more videos, then you can always feel free to subscribe. I've been Cam Bear Run. 